And they say that a dog is only a man's best friend, but no, Doctor Who tends to add more to that saying. Hello guys, welcome, or if you've already seen my channel before, welcome back, I am the Philadelphia Whovian. And once again, guys, I'm sorry that I'm filming during the evening time, but I work during the day. I'm only human, what can you do with me? So yes, yeah, sorry for the extreme lighting. Either way, so guys, welcome again to my channel, and we're talking about that thing. You know, that thing that every now and again people see out of the corner of their eye, but they don't talk about very much. Like they know it's there. They know it's there. But they still just don't talk about it. And we're talking about K9 in Company, a girl's best friend. And if you're thinking, wait a minute, this is a DVD with Leela and the Fourth Doctor on the cover and not Sarah Jane Smith, who is the leading star in K9 in Company, it's because this came as a dual DVD where it has the invisible enemy in it, but it also has K9 and Company. What do you do? All right, what do you want from me? God darn it, what do you want from me? What do you want? What? Do you want from me? What? Okay. The dramatics are over. Don't worry, guys. I'm back. Okay. So, K9 and Company, I believe, was a TV, you know, either a special movie, I don't know the term for it, um, or t it was, you know, TV movie or t TV episode. I just, tell me what is the exact title for this thing. Is it a TV movie? Is it just an another episode that's like, you know, a spawn, like a br brief, a very ever brief, you know, just spinoff of Doctor Who? What's the correct term for this? Just let me know in the comment section. Either way, it was, I believe, written by... Terence Dudley, produced by JNT, John Nathan Turner, directed by John Black, and I think it was originally transmitted December 28th of 1981. Please correct me if I'm wrong about any of that information. And of course, it stars the ever incredible Elizabeth Sladen, or Sladen, I won't say Sladen, but hey, you know, I could be wrong, as one of the wonderful Sarah Jane Smith, and she really comes into her own again. It's like she, that woman never misses a beat as Sarah Jane Smith. But also, it of course stars John Leeson as the wonderful K-9. Yeah. Oh, Johnny. Either way, so what is the overall plot with this? I'll make it very clear for those of you who are curious about this, who have never heard of K-9 and Company. Again, it's, you know, a TV special or TV spinoff or episode or movie that is, again, a spinoff of Doctor Who. So, you remember how in the very early, I think like in the, you know, early 2000s, we had the Sarah Jane Smith adventures? Even before the Sarah Jane Smith adventures happened, where it were following Sarah Jane Smith, even before that, 20 years before that, there was K-9 and Company, where... Sarah Jane Smith, she goes to visit her relative who has just been whisked away to America very quickly and Sarah Jane Smith got no information saying she was being whisked away or, you know, traveling to America and she wonders why she never really got any message, even though a message was supposed to have been sent out. And she also has to pick, sorry, also has to pick up her relative and he's staying there and he is very, you know, technological savvy. But when she gets there, she finds out there was a big package that was left for her at, I believe, her aunt's um, home, her relative, who is now in America, and it was sent by the doctor, and it opened up, and there is K-9, man's, or woman's, best friend. For those who don't know K-9, I don't know if anyone would not know K-9, but K-9 is that metal dog who appears makes his first appearance in New Who in the episode The School Reunion. And he comes back again in a series four, and he also is probably in the Sarah Jane Smith Adventures. I have not seen much at all of the Sarah Jane Smith Adventures. I should really get into that. I, 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 guys, I admit I should. Hands up, I admit I should. There we go. Okay. But also, um, we K-9 was first introduced in the episode of the Fourth Doctor's Era back in the 70s, The Invisible Enemy. And Leela was the companion to the Fourth Doctor at the time. And when Leela finally parted ways with the Doctor, K-9 
K9 went with her and she thought he was going and Leela was worried the doctor was going to be alone but it turns out no the doctor he simply just took out another copy of K9 yes he has other copies of K9 if the, he loses or um, gives away the previous one and that's how the episode ends the last time we see K9 with Leela is we see that the doctor has another version of K9 in a box and eventually K9 goes on to be a companion for a great deal longer time after that there we go so now you know the history of K9 girl's best friend in a jar of the character initially so Sarah Jane Smith now has a version of K9 on her hands however she's in a place where um she's in a town where there are people who still heavily believe in witchcraft and there's even a belief that her aunt was kind of magicked or whisked away or spirited away by these this magical circle who believe that a lot of the good fortune or a lot of their lives depend on still worshiping like Hecate, the dark arts, etc. and so forth. And to help you or give you context, if you can't get an image of your brain of all these people in a British neighborhood wearing black robes and all that stuff, you know, but committing witchcraft, Think of that moment in Hot Fuzz when the, you know, Simon Pegg's character, he discovers everybody in a circle, you know, chanting because they're trying to make sure that nothing about the village is anything else but ideal and kills off any single person who could possibly break the image of that, that town and, you know, the eyes of the world. So think of that image of all the people in the black robes. It's like that pretty much here. So we're dealing with practically like a coven in the middle of the, you know, this English town and Sarah Jane Smith has to bust it wide open and also her fellow relative who is staying with her is literally in danger because she actually has to protect him from being sacrificed at the last possible moment and K9 of course, because K9 is incredible at helping save the day, he helps her save the day as well. So we have a spin-off of Doctor Who where the Doctor never actually makes any appearance. It's simply his companion, K9, is now joined up with his other previous companion, Sarah Jane Smith. So Sarah Jane Smith is the main star in this. And again, Elizabeth Sladen does not miss a beat when it comes to her performance as Sarah Jane Smith, she falls right back into it the way she always did. And all the, all the actors are delivering very good performances in this. This is a story, though, that is very, very 80s. It is. So if you do not like Doctor Who in the 80s, cool, that's you. I get why you might not like this story. Um, for me, it was just a, f a fun, quick diversion. It's not something I'm like, oh, that's awesome, but it's not something where it's like, oh, it's terrible. How dare this have happened type of thing either. It's like, oh, it is what it is. And I had some fun times with it, but above all, I had a fun time seeing how Sarah Jane Smith or the idea of a Doctor Who fema female companion being given her own special, her own episode, and this was clearly meant to be a Christmas special, because it was. It, you know, aired a couple days after Christmas. So, yes, it's clearly meant to be a Christmas story, and it even has Christmas elements to it. So, it's like the Christmas special that happened even before Christmas specials became a real thing. Yes, we had that one episode in the Dalek's Master Plan from the first Doctor's era, so I mean, there was that, too. Guys, I, I know. I know there's that, too. I do. I, I know. I know. Okay, so yes, there's that, but also how, again, it's what I had been encouraging before of this idea where when it comes to feminists nowadays, not even feminists, there's some great feminists in the world, I'm talking about the idiots, you know, the idiotic feminists who are all, often always on the beat where they're like, oh yes, now we have female empowerment the way it wasn't before, but when I look at, again, K9 and company, no, what you have is the very beginning of a character who's a spinoff of a show where the lead is ultimately a male being given her own special and showing how Sarah Jane Smith, they trust that Sarah Jane Smith is a draw unto herself. She literally has an appeal that she does not need the doctor to even be there to do her own thing, to be prominent, to be some a person that people want to listen, watch, and follow. Then it set her up in her own way, even back then, showing how this new modern idea that there was no progressivism or progressiveness back then is complete crap.
It really is. And to me, this also, what I do respect about this, whether you like it or not, again, you love this, cool, you do not like it, cool, it's fine. It's, it's, it can go either way with people. But it shows for me, it's like what I always wanted, which, okay, if you're going to do a female-driven thing with Doctor Who, just take an established female character who already was female and give her her own thing, as opposed to just taking a male character and making it female. This shows the writers putting investment in Sarah Jane Smith and Sarah Jane Smith being awesome because Elizabeth Sladen created her, tr you know, trusted her own instincts and didn't just copy and paste what men did. So I do appreciate K-9 and Company, a girl's best friend, because it really does what I wished, which is, again, to get an existing female character and just give her her own thing. And I like that. So, guys, have you seen K-9 and Company? Do you have any stories? If you come from that generation where you saw K-9 and Company on TV. Remember, I was not born yet. Uh, I had about five more years before I was an idea in my parents' eyes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I was not there when it was first aired. But if anyone here, were you around when it first aired? Do you have any memories of K-9 and Company? Or did you see K-9 and Company? Do you have a fun trivia fact about K-9 and Company? Either way, let me know in the comment section. I like hearing stories every now and again. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And again, a girl's best friend. Is it your best friend of an episode? Do you think it sucks? Either way, you're totally awesome. Guys, thank you so much. And yes. Thank you again for watching. Bye, guys.